We do move to the unsolved murders of those four college students in Idaho as the investigation enters its sixth week with a possible new clue, new audio and video of two victims captured just hours before the killings. Kena Whitworth has the latest. Kena, good morning. Wait, good morning. So while authorities are analyzing that new video, I spoke with the parents of Kaylee Gonzalez, who told me they now have her belongings and that her car has been released to them. They say they're holding out some kind of hope that perhaps the vehicle's 360 cameras caught something that could provide answers. This morning, new video possibly shedding light on what took place just hours before four University of Idaho students were murdered in their beds. ABC News obtaining the surveillance footage. Kaylee Gonzalez's father says it shows her and Madison Mogan walking down Main Street in Moscow, Idaho, with a man whom police have confirmed is not a suspect. Their conversation caught on camera. The footage submitted to authorities as part of the investigation. Kaylee's family lawyer telling ABC News they've seen it, and they also don't believe the Adam referenced is a suspect. What were they talking about that night? Were they concerned about anything? Had anybody bothered them? These are all sort of leads that the police will have to look at. Just moments later, with the same man less than a block away, Kaylee and Madison seen on video at a food truck at 1.40 a.m. Police have yet to name a suspect in the case and confirm that they have expanded their search for the occupants of a 2011-2013 white Hyundai Elantra like this, saying they may have critical information about the case. The car, resembling this grainy image they're now investigating, captured on a gas station security camera taken around 3.45 a.m. the morning of the murders. Gas station employees telling ABC News they told investigators that the video shows the car speeding in the direction of the murder scene. But still, more than a month after the murders, officers asking the public for more help. If we get the word out there, Hey, maybe your neighbor has one in the garage that they don't drive very often. Maybe there's one that's just not on the registration database. Let us know. Now, I also spoke with the university provost who told me that he remains hopeful that students will return to in-person learning in their spring semester. Of course, the campus they're getting ready to shut down at the end of this week for the holidays. Rebecca? So many people looking for answers on this. Kena, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.